Hello friends, welcome to our Learn With Me video. This is where I take you through a small academic session in my day and giving you an insight to how I go about it. To start of the day, I plan the topics I have to study by making an improvised schedule. I do this on my iPad, just randomly listing out the topics from the top of my mind. Listing out and mapping out my day gives me a bird's eye view for what it is that I want to achieve for that day. These can be considered as the to-dos for the day. Additionally, I also add some non-academic suggestions to this list, some TED talks or some YouTube videos that I have put in watch later. So that while I do take a break, I can watch some of these instead of scrolling through Instagram. Out of this list, I pick out a highlight for the day or a must do for the day. This helps me to focus on what gives me the most bang for the buck of all the topics that I have listed. I picked up this idea from the 80-20 or the Pareto principle, meaning that 80% of the results come from 20% of the work. And also just focusing on one topic, make sure that I will do it. Now after having done that, it is go time. Recently, I have been trying to do more question banks and solving MCQs for lectures I have finished because by doing these questions, I can find the gaps in my knowledge of the topic and practicing questions is a habit that I am trying to build. So I start my day by solving some questions on ENT lectures I finished long ago while hoping to remember what I had learned previously. While going through the MCQs, I make flashcards for questions that have not been covered in theory and also make sure to bookmark questions that I have made incorrect with the belief that hopefully one day I will review these questions again. After having that warm up session of question bank, I decide to tackle the lectures. So today I will be doing some lectures on pharynx. While going through these lectures, I simultaneously browse through the flashcards my friend Adil has made and make slight aesthetic changes to it. Having done one lecture, I become so drained, so I decide to take a break. And since I have been staring at the screen for so long, I had to give my eyes some rest by looking at some greenery from my window. This is something I used to do back in the days when I used to play Battlefield Online. I would take a break after every match. So the equation goes like this. For every 20 minutes of screen time, you have to look at something which is 20 meters away for 20 seconds. This relieves our eyes from the tension that builds up by staring at a near screen. So now that it is time for a break, I can catch myself from browsing mindlessly on social media because earlier I have given myself some options like watching a TED talk. With that in mind, I proceed to watch a topic on how to get your brain to focus. In this video, the speaker tells us why focus is important for creativity and how in this digital world we can be creative. Link in the description if you fancy checking it out. And after watching that TED talk, I take a moment to write down my summary of that TED talk on Rome Research. It is a note taking app that I have started using recently. I use it to write down thoughts on the articles and videos that I have resonated with. Personally, writing helps me to capture the key insights from all the media that I consume and also help build a second brain. With that done, I proceed to finish my Anki reviews for the day. This is where I test myself on the flashcards that I have learned earlier and make sure I am interrupting that forgetting curve. And I must say that this is the most boring part of my study session, but at the same time, this is the most crucial part. Remember friends, revision is key. The reason why I use Anki is because it has both spaced repetition and active recall built into its algorithm. The two very fundamentals of learning which I swear on. I do my Anki cards for an hour or so after which I become exhausted from the iterative process of reviewing these flashcards. Like I said, not the most fun thing to do, albeit it is the most efficient thing to do. With that done, I realize it is 4 o'clock and I have to refuel my body with some food. So I proceed to make some chapatis with my father. Hashtag cook with me. Automobiles after fueling up are usually all ready to go on road. 
but the same cannot be said for the human body i refrain from taking a nap as much as possible because i know it will hamper my ability to fall asleep so with the feeling of uncertainty the urge for procrastination has finally got me and i decide to end my academic session for the day and watch some movie it has been a good day and i can't complain about it so that marks the end of this short video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do hit that like button and do show your support by subscribing to the channel your support is what keeps me going with that said stay safe stay happy and stay awesome